Hello and welcome to Busy Being Chrissy. My name is Crystal. If you are new, hello. If you are returning, hey, 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 and welcome back. So I'm doing this a little different. <laughs> All the activities that you're going to see after this have already taken place. They're already done. I'm home already and all that good stuff got back home yesterday so um we went to new jersey for the weekend we left on friday to go to a wedding reception for leighton and janelle they got married in july had their reception on good friday and leighton is the reason why daryl and i are together i don't know if that's good or bad <laughs> but he introduced us way back in 1995 way way back 1995 we've been together since 1995 october 1995 but anyway um went to their wedding reception had a beautiful time unfortunately we got there very very late because daryl is a trucker um and he had to go to work the night before and he was all the way up in new york so he had to come all the way home get showered get dressed pack which I thought he was already packed, but he was not. And so it started at seven. We didn't leave here till 5.30. And it's like a two hour, two and a half hour ride. So we missed their introduction. We missed cocktail hour. We missed the speeches. I heard there were some beautiful speeches that were given. So we missed all that. So hopefully somebody will post it if they recorded it. Um, and that way we'll get to see it. So funny thing about being at their at their uh, reception like the dj was fire the dj was bomb i told y'all whenever i go to jersey for a party it's it's going to be a good time no matter what that because that's just the way jersey does it but i was saying and, and you'll see in the clip i was saying how good the dj was and walked over to dj and blah 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 dj gives me his card and i look at the card and i'm like y'all did our wedding that's why like i'm like this, this is bomb they did our wedding and i'm not sure if he was one of the ones that came i do have to go look at my wedding album because i do have some pictures of them and i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna look at the wedding album and see if the one dj was in there i know the young guy wasn't there it was a younger guy too um but i said that's why i enjoyed it and the funny thing is we picked them random access entertainment to be you need to wait bentley grunting at me to be our dj because we were at another wedding reception and the music was bomb and we loved it so there's probably going to be some parts where i speed the music up because i got copyrighted last time and i know some youtubers they just keep the original sound and just speed it up so i may do that or pay, play three seconds of it and then just put something else over top of it. I really I really don't know. So crazy, there's YouTube music, but y'all don't want us to, we can't play the music. So damn stupid. So yeah, had a great time. The next day we went to Layton and Janelle's for a fish fry. They had people still coming by, um, you know, giving them well wishes, stopping by, even people that attended the night before. So we excused ourselves after that and went to get ready for our dinner. Um, Mia and Quentin wanted to take me out and turned out to be for Daryl too. A belated birthday dinner and my birthday dinner. He always trying to take my spotlight. So we went to Sweet Teas in New Jersey, Montclair, New Jersey, had a good time. After that, we went bowling. And I'm just gonna say they kicked our ass in bowling, like they kicked our ass. But the only reason why they kicked our ass is because I was tired. My husband had a bum knee and we did not have our own stuff. We did not have our shoes. We did not have our balls. But next time we are throwing our stuff in, in the trunk and taking it up just in case, cause we need a rematch. We beat their asses at Top Golf. We've beat them before at bowling. Well, Mia's pretty good at, though at bowling. Um, we beat them at axe throwing. So they had to redeem themselves some way, somehow. So I guess they just felt like they were gonna kick our asses in bowling. And then we went back to their house for a little bit and played 21. And I hate math, so y'all can imagine that. <laughs> can imagine. I did win a few rounds though. So then what happened? Yep, you'll see us going 
out to eat. Um, we went to on Easter. Yes, yeah, so on Easter, we went to um, Longhorn. It was attached to the hotel. We were watching Bar Rescue and we we're like, we need to do another birthday dinner. I'm like, yeah, let's go get some wings and it just turned into us eating wings or food. We we had a good time with that eating. I tell you, we 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 actually had a great time this weekend. Um I drank like a fish at Longhorn. I don't regret it. The drinks had me feeling good. I have not felt that good in a long time because whenever I go out and I drink, I'm very conscious of the fact that I have to drive home, especially I'm um, living down here and I'm always up there. I may have one drink if that because one or two or depending on the duration. If I'm going to be up there for a long time, I got time for it to wear off, but I'm not going to ever get in the car and drive drunk. I'll go sleep at the other house um, before I do that. So, yeah, I felt as though I deserve this weekend. Mia gave me some B-Day cash. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Mia and Quentin gave me some B-Day cash. Thank you. Um, spent some of it today. <laughs> Brought me some stuff. And that's about it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my spring break. I'm off this week. I'm going to use this time to declutter and get rid of some stuff. I don't feel like it. No don't feel like it don't want to do it but my house is a mess it needs to be decluttered it needs to be clean if you have made it this far i hope you continue to watch the rest of the video if you have not liked please like before or after you watch the video don't matter to me please comment and if you are not a subscriber please subscribe and i will see you all on the next one well you'll see me i can't see y'all but you'll see me on the next one bye enjoy the vlog made it to thursday happy thursday tomorrow spring break officially starts happy thursday i almost made it let me get through this day get my grandmother to her appointment and then i can really rejoice that we made it to spring break so Ty and I are just looking at some shirts that they have in the school store. We were in a closet that is in the school store where all of our graduation materials are held. And we just went through 18 boxes of caps, gowns, and tassels for our June graduation because a parent claimed that her child's graduation announcements were sent to the school. So we went through all 18 boxes and those announcements were not in any of the 18 boxes that we looked in. Hopefully they will turn up. If not, um, the vendor needs to send the parent a new set or figure out where they sent them to. Brendan is so funny. <laughs> Your baby is so funny. Oh, that. Well, that's what I'm saying. You got something rolled up, but you got in that bucket up there is, is shirts that are rolled and they got like the green ribbon on them. What shirts are those? She oh, said no they got mount on them because I took one. That that she gave, she gave me one. She, she said she forgot she had them. Well, you going to press the up button? Yep. All right, you press the button. I can't get out of this place. I can't get out of here. <laughs> I had to take my grandmother to an appointment and then I came back. Whoa, yeah. e everybody else is at happy hour. I love them. They are too funny. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this face down for Melissa. So she'll get that. Oh my God. Good morning. It is April 7th. I've made it to spring break. Today is Good Friday. I just got out the shower and I just um, scrubbed out the shower. So I had that little scrubbers in there. Um, I'm about to get dressed, make me some coffee, take Bentley out for his walk and get ready for my hair appointment. I don't even know what time it is. What's Didn't find my wallet. 
Ugh, I was just stressing myself out because I could not find my wallet. <sighs> Finally found it. Maya helped me. Because Lord knows I need it. Um, I need to stop at... Um, yeah, I need to stop at uh, Wawa real quick. Really quickly. Real quick. I'll show y'all what my hair looks like after. So, yeah, because I have to pick up our dry cleaning, like the outfit that um, I'm wearing tonight. I had to get it hemmed. Daryl wasn't able to pick it up this week he said he forgot so I have to go to Dover and pick those items up I have to go to Mac to get my makeup done it's just a lot uh, that I have to do today so and I have to go home and pack oh I hate being how I am honey I hate it like I hate it for me like it, I need I need to get up I need to get myself together <sighs> But nothing like thriving on last minute. Let me get in here. You know what? <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> So hair's done. I moved it to the other side. She put it on this side, but I, it was over here. Um, so I can't wait to see it with my makeup. And she tried to layer it so that um, when it falls, because it's gonna fall. And being as though I don't do makeup, I mean hair. Well, I don't do makeup either that it's going to have some texture and shape and all that because she knows I don't do hair so yeah I feel like I look a little older now much older but I think I look like Evelyn Braxton right now <laughs> uh, age wise but I do like it I do like it Um, I just look older I look older but now I keep getting eye boogies. I can't believe that over the weekend, three people were shot and people were injured at the Christiana Mall. I can tell you right now, hubby's probably not going to be feeling the red lip. But besides it feeling dry, I actually like it. And I think it'll look nice with the jumpsuit. But we shall see. But I do like it. I had already made up my mind that if she um, said I want to do a red lip on you, that I was just going to agree to it. But I wasn't going to offer <laughs> for her to do a red lip because I stick to neutral. Y'all know I stick to neutral. So that's what I do. Um, but yeah. So okay I think I'm gonna leave my hair like this that way it's not in my face am I but I I love the makeup why can't I do this at home I'm not sure what it's giving off on camera but why can't I do this at home and I'm about to mess this lipstick up though because this liquid the ruby will liquid let me see She said it doesn't transfer easy. She's right. Only a little bit. But I don't like it feeling dry. So I had to spend. I ain't going to say this part because my husband going to be all up in my business. But I am going to skedaddle home. But before I go home, I got to go to Dover and pick up our dry cleaning. And I also have to pack my clothes since we are going to be gone the entire weekend. 
I have a dinner date. We have dinner reservations uh, tomorrow night. I forgot where. I forgot where, but um, uh, friends went to take me out for birthday dinner, early birthday dinner. Since my birthday is April 19th, they want to take me out to eat. So that's what we're going to do. We are not going to be on time because Daryl's still not here. I still have to pack. He's going to have to come in and get in the shower. So we will be arriving well after seven. Me and my heels probably will not make it. I know I've said before that um, my calf muscles in the back are, they are really, they're not, they're not flexible. Like they don't know if they've always been like this or if it's just something that happened. But I seem to remember it always bothered me whenever I wore any type of heels. But I was just clunking around in those heels. And I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm going to go in my closet and see if I got me another pair that I could wear. Just in case. Because I don't want to be clunking around like a baby deer. That hubby did not like the red lip. And I actually need to go back and clean up. I tried to add some more. And it just was not working the way I supposed to. So I'm going to go clean up and all that stuff. And he didn't like it before I did this. He was like... I don't like it. I don't like it. My husband does not like makeup. He does not like lashes. He likes natural. But there's nothing wrong with stepping out your comfort zone every while, every now, every now and then again, every while and again. And I think that's what I did. So he need to calm down. Still in the shower. I mean, he's still in the shower. I'm still just throwing stuff in my bag. I got to find one sneaker and then I'm done. But it's like at this point, we'd be better off taking ourselves to dinner. Because wh why does he have to be in the shower that long? And I said earlier that he had packed his stuff. He said actually he didn't finish because he fell asleep. So he is not packed. But I wish she would come on. Like, please. My husband is not matching my fly. He doesn't like to coordinate. He don't like to dress alike. And he's throwing off the whole vibe. He's throwing off the whole vibe. Like, he's he's throwing it off. He casual up here in business at the bottom. <sighs> but that's okay. I, I'm, I'm not going to, I can't make him change. So, don't even, we only have on the same fucking colors.
little bit of air. And then they got the chocolate sandwich. You want ice cream bagels? Me and Cripple ready to go. Miss, me and Mr. Kane. Ooh. Ooh, we had a good time. We had a good time. I don't know if I said it, but Layton is the one that introduced Daryl and I. He introduced us, unfortunately. And here we are. Open the door! 26 years later because you gotta walk slow with your cane open the door because <laughs> he gotta walk with his cane open his damn door y'all yeah. hubby was mad at me because he gave me their card with money i looked and it was 150 dollars on the floorboard when i went to get on the side of the car man the rest of the money had blown outside. He had to get the money. He was so mad at me. But at least he got it back. <sighs> he was like, damn it. Why didn't you just seal the card up, Crystal? Just seal the card up. I was like, because I wanted to write something on the front. Where the fuck is this building? No, you gotta say it like how you said it. God, where the fuck is this building? <laughs> damn, can't believe this shit. This is ridiculous. The DSU tour, and we was walking for so long. Daryl was like, "Where the fuck is this building?" Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is the day after uh, this reception, and I am beat still. Um, I did, was sleeping. We do it. I mean, it's ten o'clock, so we did sleep off and on. We woke up talking, <laughs> go back to sleep. Woke up talking. Then I went back to sleep and he ended up getting up, getting himself together, and he went to Walmart. So we're gonna go to Layton's um and Janelle's house to go to have some fish. Um 
he invited a few people over for that so yeah i'm gonna go for that um later on a little bit later we're gonna go out to dinner with some friends celebrate my birthday just a little bit early so we're gonna go to a place called sweet teas i forgot what part of jersey it's in but we're gonna go there um they had wanted to try it so we're gonna go there and that's about it tomorrow is easter um he and i will probably just chill when we when this whole thing got planned and all that stuff we didn't realize it was going to be um over easter weekend so our children were like nobody's going to be home to cook nobody's this that you better go to my grandmother's house my grandmother does not play so she will be cooking honey take yourselves over to alina's and do what you need to do you know so um yeah, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I didn't bring any church outfits. If I had, I would go to church. And you know what? I probably could still put together a church outfit. We can go to Walmart and get some slacks, a shirt. I do have a pair of kitten heels because, honey, them heels last night, because of my, con my condition with my legs, the back of my legs, it was painful like the first few steps i was okay but i was absolutely in pain dying even just standing sit still you could feel the muscles refusing to bend refusing to be flexible so luckily i had brought slippers with me just in case because that oh we were in the dessert line and i literally had to put my um slippers on because just standing the pressure it was too much like mm, bad but i'm finally using my makeup case that i had picked up that says self-love finally using it picked that up from home goods it was like 6.99 so i got all my crap crammed into here this is the um ruby woo that the lady used on me and it says retro matte liquid lip color so she said they also carry this in like a shinier gloss she said you know for the glossy girls and she was like glossy girls and i'm like i am a glossy girl baby i'm a glossy girl the matte is okay but i just don't like the my lips feeling dry and they feel dry so yeah so let me get myself together before he comes back I left one of my shoes home that I was going to wear. I went in the room. I grabbed this shoe. I grabbed it. I really did. And I guess it never made it to the bag because I don't have it in. Now I'm going to just throw in the maroon ones. I was sitting here about to get upset because I left the shoe. I'm not going to get upset anymore. I'm just going to make it work put you upside down on the table. i'm just gonna make it work damn it this is what i'm wearing so not only am i missing a shoe i am missing my hair tools my little teeny tiny flat irons that i was going to use to just i have no idea but i feel naked without them because i definitely forgot them so yeah so i gotta stop procrastinating i gotta stop waiting to the last minute to do stuff i just have to but one of the things that i have to do is to buy myself more casual clothes i have more work clothes than i do casual clothes and the casual clothes that I do have, it's hard to put stuff with it because either I don't have the shoes or I don't have the pants or I got the pants, but I don't have a shirt. So I'm gonna make it my goal to at least get a couple more casual outfits, even if it's just a two piece set or, you know, the one thing I don't wear too much of is leggings. I don't throw on leggings. Um, but I'm going to get some leggings and when I wear leggings, I like to make sure that the shirt is long enough because just my personal opinion, 
leggings to me are not really pants. Leggings are something I would wear under a dress, under a skirt, under some rip, ripped jeans. But I will wear leggings as long as I have a shirt that's like an oversized shirt. And, you know, I don't know. I can't even say if I had the body, which I do because I could wear whatever the hell I want, but I'm self-conscious on some things. So I probably wouldn't even wear, like even being younger, I wouldn't wear wear leggings and not have a shirt cover my butt. And that was my requirement for my daughters as well when they were in school and going to school that you will not be wearing leggings <laughs> and not have a shirt covering your behind. Now, like the older one now, she just don't give a damn. And she's of age. I can't tell her what to wear, what not to wear. So, and she's a stick, you know, she's a stick figure. <laughs> so she will definitely go out with leggings on and a crop top. The other one, every now and then she'll try and it's like, what you doing? Like, what do you have on? Like, you're supposed to, to me, you need to put a shirt on to cover your behind. I just, leggings are not pants to me in that way. And that just may be 50 year old me speaking. I know there's different times, different strokes for different folks, but that's just not something I want to do unless I have a shirt to cover my behind area. So, yeah. No, I just went off on a tangent talking about leggings. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to keep this out of my face. I like it like this. Um, I don't have any scissors. If I did, I would just snip just a tiny bit. But she did exactly what I told her. And this is what I told her. I said, just, you know. So I didn't bring any hairspray. I didn't bring any hair tools. I think I brought my little slick stick and I could take that and put some on. Probably left that home because I don't even see that bag right now. Oh child, I'm gonna get my life together one day. I can't be stepping into 50 in a, some days in a week and still not have my ish together. I don't even see that bag. Okay. I don't know. Now, Daryl done called me and said, was I ready to come down? And I told him no. So I don't know if he's sitting down there waiting for me or what. I have no idea. So I guess I didn't uh, bring that other black bag. And I had threw some stuff in there too. That's crazy. Okay, let me get over here, get my stuff together. So this is the guy that I can unfortunately thank for introducing me to Daryl. What, what do you gotta say for yourself? I don't have nothing.